Okay, let's get a tour of the battery box here. This uh, this little um, UHF VHF Go box and battery box. Uh, it's it comes in a Harbor Freight um, waterproof box. Okay, uh, I chose to not put any penetrations in it like screw holes that's too much of a commitment for uh the first week of having my my box um, most of the things are secured inside with industrial velcro okay so we'll pop it open and see what we have in here so we can see that uh, there's a big battery it's a 20 amp hour bio no um secured with industrial velcro at the bottom uh, the radio, um, I mounted it very high, so I can't uh, I can't have the face plate on with the with the with it closed. It's my uh, it's my only mobile rig. It's a uh, Kenwood um, TMG707. Okay, uh, I have a a piece of wood cut at an angle, and and it's velcroed to that it, so that it lifts it up. It's very, very secure in there, okay? And uh, then, of course, we have the, the hand mic in here. Um, just kind of sitting down there. Uh, right now, I've got, uh, I've got the, that head unit wrapped in a towel just to keep it from getting scratched. Um, if I, I could either lower this down a little bit, I don't know, I, I really like this angle. Uh, I could lower it down or I could get something more permanent than a paper towel, okay? So the, the power distribution <clears throat> we're coming from uh, the battery and we're going through this power switch, the hot side, the red side is going through uh, the power switch. So this right here will turn it on and this lights up the power distribution uh, device that's a rig runner 4004u so they they stick up like this so i can i don't need any kind of power uh, uh out here i just go straight into that it's made very solid it has usb charging so it, it kind of did everything i wanted in the box um the this port goes is power in this port is power out to the uh, dual band. This one right here goes to this light. So the second switch here is for a, uh, a light and that's just a license plate light. Of course, I'm connecting with Anderson if I want to change it or if I want to plug into a different kind of light, temporarily, whatever. So this one I just, I mounted to a piece of wood so that I had room to route out a little uh, a rut for the cable to go in and then of course Velcroed it to the box. Now these, this panel here, uh, the um, antenna mount is on here. It's actually an NMO, and this is an NMO to UHF adapter. So I can either use um, UHF uh, antenna or NMO. I have a small UHF antenna right here. It doesn't have good performance, but it's in the box, and I like that. Okay. I like the fact that the box is self-contained, and I've got a, a larger NMO um, higher gain um, antenna that has been on my vehicle for years, and I can put it on here if I want, or I can do UHF to an SO uh, 239 coax and go to you know my uh, my mag mount. I could I could do anything so. These two adapters get most of the antennas that I'll want to work with, okay? But this bar that it's mounted on is just a piece of flat aluminum. Uh, there's some piece of uh, uh, angled aluminum right there, and they're just screwed into here. But again, they're Velcroed into uh, the, the side of the box. And right now, it's as stable as I need it to be. You know, there's a little bit of flex in it, but, you know, this is... Uh, this is my first attempt here, and I'm, I'm enjoying it pretty much. So I've got the power turned on. I've got the light turned on. Um, turn on the radio. And there we go. So uh, 
this little one won't hit um, the local uh, uh, repeaters inside the house. If I had the bigger, higher gain antenna, I could hit them from inside the house, no problem. Um, outside, that antenna will work just fine. It'll do some simplex, it'll do some local repeaters. Uh, but again, that's the one that's in the box. And I'll have other antennas and other equipment in my vehicle, in my, in my other equipment, etc. But this is what's in the box. So hope you enjoyed my little tour. Um, the, uh, one of these ports right here, I've got one of the higher amperage, um, fuses right here so that I can go from here to my HF go box. Um, so I don't have to put the battery inside the HF go box because that's already heavy enough. It's a full size rig. It's not a lightweight. This is all my full size equipment. Um, I could put this box on my passenger seat. I don't want to mount anything inside my vehicle because um, it the uh, stuff gets stolen. I've I had one in my Jeep years and years ago, and it got stolen. So rather than putting something in that'll get stolen, I put. I put the equipment inside of a box and then I take it with me when I want it, okay? So there's the ideas. This battery in this box will feed power to the other box that I have. Uh, there's a separate video that talks all about my uh, HF Go box. There we go.